corners from the bay the harbour in the foreground the deck of the St. Bride's Hotel where my mother used to teach people to swim over here is Monkston Point at the end and the whole of the coastline going out to Monkston was our my childhood playground really but we lived about a quarter of a mile from the beaches over there so mum and dad would kick us out me and my three brothers first thing in the morning before breakfast and we'd be down on the beach swimming surfing fishing fighting and mum would come down with breakfast and we'd stay all day we'd be the last ones to leave the first ones to arrive and the last ones to leave This little place here is where you can find me when I've retired from the life of a globe-trotting conductor. <laughs> you can come and find me nestling there just by the beach, um, barbecuing um, my uh, bratwurst and sauerkraut. Any more stories? Saundersfoot stories? Yes. Can, can you see the donut and burger and hot dog stand over there? Yeah. I used to work there as a teenager and I, I made a mean donut in my day. So now we're going to have some lunch with my mother, whose birthday it was yesterday. Um, uh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, this is my mother and very, this is her birthday lunch. Very she's, what they do. she's just turned into a silver surfer, and I don't although she's more of a sort of a golden, slightly off um, port. My father, on the other hand, is, is a jet white surfer. Anti, anti things. Oh, he's an anti everything, is my father. Yeah, he's a miserable old sorry soul. But anyway, there we are. Um, <laughs> This is my mother who's just got a new computer and she's telling us how she prefers Google to Bing and... Uh... I can't say that I prefer it because I have never done Bing because it went off mine before I even... It bomb, it? Yeah. This would be my brother Ross who knows everything about ankles and computers. Well, I've been helping the Bing bong bang master. Yeah, but I, I understood that the chief advisor is over here and this would be Michelle, my sister with the fluttering eyelashes. Uh, with the fluttering eyelashes. For the people of North Carolina, Michelle, can you tell us how my mother, age 79, has coped with her first computer experience? She's coped very well, actually. She's so coped very well. I've been very impressed. <laughs> Any areas could do better? Mouse control to start with, but I think that's got better, hasn't it? You know, I've got a new wireless one. Oh, no, I didn't see it. Yes, but Wayne bought me a wireless mouse. Unfortunately, very pretty. Pretty, I should say. Sorry, that, that would be the cat. Yeah, this would be Charlotte. And my daughter, Pridwin, who's joined us for the day because the alternative was writing an essay. I've got a few essays. So, here we are, um, a taste of the real whales, <coughs> up at the rugby club in Dina's Powers. As you can see, the conditions are a little grey, a little cold, and this is the grand sport of rugby. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm making a video for um, the orchestra website in the States and Simon here is one of our leading personalities and could tell you all about rugby I can never work out the rules myself but it's basically divided into forwards and backs the big guys and the athletic ones. Um, Often the, the, the front rows are called the ugly ones and the guys that run around in the backs are called the pretty ones. Yeah, and they take a lot of stick for that. Um, and it mostly works out that way, doesn't it? <laughs> you need a couple of prima donnas, 
couple of good creative athletes. There we are. And so we come to the end of an eventful rugby match. On this occasion, did this time managed to beat the Italians from Perugia about 40 odd points to 21 or something. And the boys are still speaking to each other. And that's the religion of Wales, it's called rugby.